Hey, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, by Hashim Yahweh Shai. This is your brother, Ayathun. Uh, quick video, man. What you see on the screen here is um f is a warning. Uh, actually, the, the video got removed. All right, this is the channel GMS ISAL444. And uh, for y'all brothers who don't know, now you do. This is um the Elder Inops, um channel. Right, and he he's being he as well as a lot of other brothers has been flagged, um, flagged for these videos. Now, when you read, if you see this, if you, I don't know if you brothers seen you brothers, well you can't watch the video now, but there was no you know the, there was no obscene language or no anything hateful being said. This was just straight facts, <laughs> straight facts. I was just being brought out, you know. Nothing crazy, outlandish, but yet this video was removed. Why? Because we are reaching the time of the famine of the word. Okay, we're reaching the time of the famine of the word. YouTube uh, years ago have been increasingly um, optimizing um, their uh, their um, uh, the word. Their algorithms, right? They've been tweaking, updating their algorithms, algorithms to remove so-called hate speech, and you don't even have to go flag the videos anymore. Um, they are at a point now that when the video is processed, and this is why the video gets processed. Okay, the video gets processed, and it takes a while sometimes because they actually um, have a, a, a algorithm that plays your entire video, fast forwards it real quick. And it, it reads, it has speed, uh, speech recognition recognition software, and it'll pick up on certain words, and it'll flag your video automatically, you see? And they've been tweaking it, tweaking it, tweaking it, because why? They want to stop this truth, okay? They want to stop this truth. We're in the information age, and they want to stop the information because they need to dumb down the people so that they don't actually know what's going on when shit hits the fan, all right? Now, let me bring out this scripture because this is going to also, this is also going to um, um, do something else, you know. This is uh, Zephaniah 1 and 12, okay, and this is a scripture that popped in my mind. And it should come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in our heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil, Right. And the the reason I brought this uh, this the reason the reason um this scripture is coming out now because there's a lot of guys on YouTube that are just YouTube prophets. They on there, you know, they go on the streets and they have live classes and this and that, but they don't do it because they love doing this. You know, they do it for monetary gain. They do it for YouTube views. Okay, they do it for fame to get some type of celebrity status to be to appear on different other channels like Sonetta and this and that. And that's why they're doing the work. Okay. Us here at Great Millstone, we've been doing the work before YouTube was invented. Okay. And when YouTube gets shuts us out, guess what? We'll be on the streets still. We don't give two we don't give a iota about no YouTube. We don't give a shit about YouTube views. All right. We don't give a shit about YouTube views or likes or spot appearances on other channels. We don't give a damn. We are here to push the word of the Lord point blank period. And after YouTube shuts down, guess what? We'll be still on them highways and byways because we ain't out here for the views. Okay. But the Lord is going to search Jerusalem with candles, meaning he's going to put brothers through the ringer, through the tests, he's going to see what you're made of. So once YouTube gets shut down and you can't get no more views, all right, you ain't getting no 14K views or 10,000 views and a thousand likes and uh, this person calling you up and that person calling you up to go on their show to do debates and this and that and no money coming in, what the freak are you going to do? Okay, what are you going to do? Are you going to fizzle out like a fucking, like a fucking flat Pepsi? Is what's going to happen. All right. So me personally, I'm happy YouTube is doing this, you know, because through the spirit of the Lord, we went hard through all these years. What, 2007 to 2020 now? You little fuckers talking about old men on the couch and this and that. All right. These old men on the couch are, going, are old men on the highways and byways. We was there before 
you even know what, how to say goo goo gaga, and we gonna be there after, till Lord willing, till the missiles come or whenever the Most High gives a signal to get off them streets, we gonna be there. What are you gonna do? All right, what are you gonna do? So, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, may the Lord just totally shut down YouTube, shut down the whole entire internet, man, because we ready we ready for the next phase. We just tired of this shit. You know, we tired of this shit. We don't give a fuck about nobody's views. We don't give a shit about nobody's likes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't give about nobody's validations. Our validation comes from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Fuck you and what you think about us. Fuck you and your flag in our videos. YouTube is just a tool that we we're using for the moment, set up by Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. He set up YouTube for this purpose. And when that purpose has been completed, he's going to take it down. And all you fuckers out there that are out there for fucking, uh, to be some type of, to be famous, the Most High is going to roll on you too, because them troops are coming for your ass too. All right? Anyway, with that, I'm going to say, Shalom. All praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai.